Assalamu alaikum girls. Wa alaikum assalam miss. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. And what about you girls? How are you doing? Good miss. Now, uh, we are going to start our class today. Do you remember, last week I had given you some past paper questions to try. Do you remember that first? Yes, this. Yes, miss. Okay. Now, let me just uh, check with you. I can see only 17 students are here, girls. Miss, are we going to do, do the past paper now? Like, check the answers too? Yes, I'm going to do that. But before that, I want to ask you something. Girls, did you notice in your group there is a message from the principal regarding the fees and all? Did yes, Miss Miss Latifa just told us. That yes, that's to... good. You have to inform your parents about it because it's a reminder to you, right? So yeah, I think you should all, all of you should check that one and inform your parents to take action about it. Okay, I think you know the person. In the accounts department, Mr. Sahitpur. Okay, you tell your parents to talk to him. Okay, guys. Now, uh, I can see that's only 19 students. Okay, now, <clears throat> Sayeda, could you tell me how many of you were there in, uh, in English class, girls? Sorry, In English class, how many students were there this year? 25, something like that, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's start our class. <clears throat> if you remember, as I told you before, in past paper four, I have given you some of the questions to try. All right, so how many of you did you check those questions? Because I want this week, I want to complete those questions. Then only your voice I can... isn't clear, I can't hear you. Okay. Now, just have a look. Is it clear to you? No, miss. It's not? Okay. Just one minute then. Let me fix it. Okay, guys. Now, is it clear for you? Do you hear me? Hello, girls. Is it clear? Yes, miss. Okay, fine. So, uh, I was telling you, how many of you did you uh, did try these questions yourself to solve? Miss, I did, but I didn't get some of the questions. Some of Good the morning. questions you tried? Good morning. Now, listen first. As I told you, these are the questions related to our portion. The one already we had uh, finished the lesson. So we need to solve this question first, then only I can proceed to the next lesson, that is lesson number five. So today I want to go with uh, go through all those questions. So I want all of you to have your past paper in front of you. Otherwise, you won't be able to cross match with me. If you don't understand any question, you couldn't solve it. Today I want to do it with you. This week I'll be doing only these past paper questions with you. If, because if I'm not doing those, I think uh, I'll not you'll not be able to complete all those by yourself. You tried, I appreciate that, but we need to solve all together. What do you say, girls? Girls, I want your response. What do you say? Shall I do this question first with you? Yes, yes miss. Yes, miss. Okay, fine. Good. So, let's start. I want you to go. The first question that I gave to you, that was 32 October, November 12, question number 4. All of you go to that past paper. Yes, all of you. Um, which paper? Yes, the first question that I gave you that was uh, 32 October November 12. 32 October November 12, question number 4. Okay, question number 4, I want to do with you. So, all of you. Just check the question first of all. What is written there? What they're asking us to do? So let's start that. That is question number four. They say, uh, now girls tell me, did you find that question? 32 October, November 12, question number four. Mm -hmm. 
one minute. I don't have that question, so I'm just going to Google and like you know searching for that question. Okay, but you don't have to because thirty two variant here. If you have the book, it is supposed to be there. Okay, fine. Miss, um, do you have the book in front of you? The book that you are using? Yes, yes, miss. But I don't have the um, year twelve. That's oh, the thing. Oh, okay. But uh, if you bought it from the shop, there are supposed to be two parts. So in any of the parts, you might get that question. Okay, fine. So those who are having ragad, do you have that past paper, that variant with you? Yes. Okay, fine. Miss, I didn't get you. Is it paper four or paper two? I'm paper paper four. four. I said 32. So it's a paper four. We are not doing paper mm -hmm. two today. It's only paper four. So... As I told you, I hope all of you are going to have the past paper. Too big for me. You have to speed up here. Last week I told you that we are going to do it today. Okay, fine. Now, first we have to read out the question. What is written there and what they are asking us to do? If you just look at it, they say uh, in the figure, some uh, <coughs> gas contained in a cylinder by a heavy piston. Okay, guys, do one thing, all of you, mute your microphone, okay? We don't need it. When you need to ask me a question, then you will just switch it on, okay? So let's continue. There is a small, okay, let me go back. The piston can move up and down in the cylinder with negligible friction. There is a small increase in the pressure of the atmosphere above the piston. On the figure, draw a possible new position for the lower face of the piston. So, girls, just tell me what you expect to happen when the pressure outside, which is the atmospheric pressure, increases. What do you expect to happen <coughs> to the cylinder? What do you expect the cylinder to happen, girls? You can give me the answer, girls. Anyone? What do you expect this to happen? Hmm? What could be the possible position of the Heavy piston. What do you expect, Salmi? Would you like to give me the answer? Yes. What do you expect to happen? Say. Yes, I can yes. still find the question. Exactly. I told you the variant here. 32 October November 2012. Question number four. Why will you not get it? Go for the same uh, variant. Okay. 32 okay. October November year 2012. Yes. Question number four. Question number four. Yes. And okay. I wasn't. Okay. Just, can you say the questions? Uh, question. Okay. It is about a gas cylinder with a heavy piston and some gas is uh, trapped inside, and they're asking us some question. Okay. You keep on finding it. Mahesha are you there? Are you following my class? Yes. yes. Okay, dear. Could you give me the answer of this question? Uh, that is A1, dear C. On the figure, draw a possible new position for the lower face of the piston. What do you expect it to be? Yes. Could you tell me what could be the possible uh, <clears throat> position of this one? If the pressure outside, means the atmospheric pressure increases, what happens to the piston? Will it go down or move up? It will go down. Very good. It will definitely go down here. So all of you do one thing. Just below it, after a certain distance, think about you are going to give uh, 0.5 centimeter below it, draw a straight line. All of you do it along with me. Draw a straight line. Just below the down surface. They say the lower face. So below the lower face, draw a straight line after 0 0.5 centimeter below. It's just an estimation, nothing else. But it will definitely go down. Is it done, girls? Shall I move to the next part? Could you start again? Miss, could you, uh, could yes, you miss, could everything? Listen to me. Question number A1, I told you that you have to draw a straight line below the lower face of the piston. Why it will go down? Because the pressure outside got increased. That will push the piston down than before. So just draw a line below it. Done, guys? Okay, now let's go to miss, miss, miss. Could you repeat again? You have to just draw a straight line below the lower face. Okay, draw a straight line. 
on the figure 4.1 read the question it is mentioned there you have to draw a possible new position for the lower face of the piston so just draw a line below it that's it okay now go to a2 explain in terms of molecules of the gas and the molecules of the atmosphere your answer to question number a1 means why did you choose the line or the piston to go down that will be our explanation now i want to ask mamita are you there yes can i answer yes mamita are you there i want uh, the answer from you that what you actually expect that is happening inside the cylinder when there are certain amount of gas trapped inside what is happening actually from there we have to start mamita could you give me the answer hello mamita are you there are you following my class mamita i can't hear you dear um, the gas molecules will uh, collide together yes who's that sadia right that's a good answer we have to explain a little bit more dear okay that is when the air molecules are trapped or air is trapped on a particular amount of gas that is trapped inside the cylinder what type of behavior they are going to show we know that they are going to move randomly they will collide with each other and with the walls of the container isn't it of course they are going to collide with the surface of the piston means the piston wall yes yes yeah. uh, i was asking you that question the one that we are doing now for a sorry the mic went off miss okay fine no problem so let's continue with this question we are doing it in a way that the air molecules will move collide with the piston and with the wall of the container which exerts a force and pressure on the top but as the pressure outside got increased so it has to balance that is why the piston will move down until it equals the pressure inside and outside did you understand girls the explanation that i gave you now Okay, so will you be able to write it yourself? Shall I wait for a few minutes for you to write? Miss, can you explain it again? Okay, yes. do one thing, guys. Since you are doing it for the first time after such a long time, so let's. Uh, uh, I will uh, dictate. I want you to write down yourself. Okay, shall I do that? Okay, Miss. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, the air molecules move and collide with the piston wall. The air molecules move and collide with the piston wall. Piston wall on the top. Put your comma. Yes, yes. The air molecules move. you can use the word randomly also the air molecules move randomly and collide with the piston wall on the top and collide with the piston wall on the top comma which exerts force and pressure which exerts force and pressure on the top full stop on the top full stop okay as a result as a result the piston moves down as a result the piston moves down until it equals the gas pressure until it equals the gas pressure inside miss the, can you repeat after a result of piston yes as a result the piston moves down until it equals as a result the piston moves down until it equals the gas pressure inside the cylinder inside the cylinder to the atmospheric pressure 
inside the cylinder to the atmospheric pressure. I miss after gas pressure. Say again, I couldn't hear you, dear. Gas pressure oh. until it equals the gas pressure inside the cylinder to the atmospheric pressure. Inside the cylinder to the atmospheric pressure. Done, girls? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Fine. Thank you. Let's go for B. Part B of the question. All of you check. The pressure of the atmosphere above the piston returns to its original value. And the piston returns to its original position. Means somehow the pressure got increased initially. And now they are saying the pressure went back to its original uh, value. So they are asking us to draw a possible new position for the lower face of the piston. So what will you do girls? As we did the previous one, you could, you could easily guess what to do here. Yes, girls, could you tell me? Draw it above. Yeah, very good. So you're going to draw a line approximately the same distance you kept on the previous diagram. Same distance, but it has to be above because it will go back to its original position. Okay, girls. So just draw a straight line, a little bit higher uh, position from the upper surface. Okay, and roughly try to make it equal uh, distance like you did on the first diagram. Okay, girls. Okay, now let's go to, yes, dear, what happened? Sorry, Miss, but uh, can you uh, tell again what are we going to do, like the yes. drawing? You have to draw a straight line above the upper surface of the piston and roughly try to make equal distance from uh, the down and the upper part. Okay. Okay, Miss, thank you. Okay, now check the next part of the question, B2, they say, explain in terms of the molecules of the gas and the molecules of the atmosphere. Now we have to explain what happened, why it actually moved up. If you just look at it, as we said before also, the gas molecule will move faster and they are going to have more space and they will collide with the piston and they have to, why it will move up? Because that's why the pressure inside will be more than the pressure outside. So let me just give you the answer quickly all of you right on this one. I'm talking about B2 girls. Could you follow me? Yes miss. Very good. Let's continue. The gas molecules move faster. The gas molecules. Oh before that girls could you just go up and check one thing is written there. The gas piston and the cylinder are now heated to much higher temperature. That is the answer of the question actually. When it is heated, what do you expect to happen? Definitely the molecules will start moving faster than before with more kinetic energy. Isn't it true? Am I right? Yes. 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 That is what we are writing. So all of you start writing this answer. The gas molecules move faster with more kinetic energy and collides with the piston. The gas molecules moves faster with more kinetic energy and collides with the piston wall and collides with the piston wall. Collides with the piston. Please, could you repeat again from the? Okay, okay. hold on, all of you. Take it and uh, we can give you the answer one more time. The gas molecules moves faster with more kinetic energy and collide with the piston wall and collide with the piston wall with greater force, causing the piston to move, causing the piston to move upwards. Until the pressure outside and inside is equal. Miss, could you repeat from piston? Okay, I said, uh, okay, let me repeat from the beginning. 
the gas molecules move the faster with more kinetic energy and collide with the piston wall with greater force piston wall with greater force causing the piston to move upward until the pressure outside and inside is equal until the pressure inside and outside is equal are you done with answer girls yes Miss. Yes, okay. yes. Let me remind you one thing, girls. Yes, until until yes, until one minute. Until the pressure outside and inside is equal. Okay. Now let me remind you, girls, one thing that do take these classes very seriously. You know, when the school will reopen, immediately we'll have our final exam. So I will not be able to give you all this answer or uh, discuss all these topics with you one more time. After the school reopen, so make sure you are following my class and doing the past papers along with me. Don't take it just like that. We'll never be able to have uh, to re repeat all these uh, tasks that we are doing with you right now. So please make sure on your own past paper you are solving the question along with me. Is it clear, girls? Yes, Miss. Thank you. Now let's go to the next question that I gave to you was. 31 May June 13 question number 4 but before that girls tell me do you have any doubt in this particular question that I discussed with you now do you have okay fine that's good. that's good let's go to 31 May June 13 question number 4 okay now all of you just look at the diagram and the question and tell me what is this question about this which one uh, 31 May 13, question number 4. Find it out and tell me what question uh, is this? For which topic we have this question? Thank you. Very good. So you got the question. Now I want you to read the question, check, and you'll give me the answer. I want the answer from you guys. So all of you find the question, start reading it, and then we'll proceed with the answer. Okay, follow you. That was 31 May June 2030. Question number four. It is about a vacuum flask. Straight from our record book and straight from our copy book. So I think you can do this. So all of you check. It is written. Figure 4.1 shows a cross section of a double walled glass vacuum flask containing a hot liquid. The surface of the two glass walls of the flask have shiny silver coatings. Do you remember all this topic we had discussed? Uh, we had the discussion, right, girls? Do you remember? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. So it will not be difficult for us. So check the answer the question. They said A. Explain number one why the rate of loss of thermal energy to the walls of the flask by conduction is very low. So, Can I? Yeah, sure. I'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Say. Um, because glass is a poor conductor and vacuum is present between the walls, so okay. no molecules transfer heat by con conduction. I think that's a very good answer. Okay. So, do one thing, Sadia. I want you to read out the answer that you wrote, and the rest of the class follow Sadia. As she got the correct answer, I want all of you to follow her. So read it out one more time, Sadia, please. Yeah, okay. uh, glass is a poor conductor. Mm -hmm. Miss, which question? Uh, that is question number four of 31, May June 30. A1 we are doing now. Oh. Anzila, did you find it? Take quickly. 31 May June 13. Question number 4. Okay, Sadia, please. Okay. Glass is a poor conductor and vacuum is present between these walls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, Miss, uh, it's, the, it's a full stop. Uh -huh. And then, uh, so. Let's uh, give a comma. It will be better. Okay. Sadia, repeat again. Okay, fine. Sadia, do it one more time. 
glass is a poor conductor and vacuum is present between these walls, comma, so no molecules can, trans can transfer heat by conduction. So no um, molecules. Do transfer, make it do. Okay, so no molecules do transfer heat by conduction. Full stop. I think it's correct. Sadia, could you? Yes, Sadia. Sadia, could you? Yes, Sadia. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to repeat from the first again. Okay. Yes, sir. Glass is a poor conductor and vacuum is present between these walls, comma. So no molecules do transfer heat by conduction. Good answer. Thank you, Sadia. Let's go to A2 now. Why the rate of loss of thermal energy through the walls of the flask by radiation is very low? So I want someone else to give me the answer. What do you expect? What is happening here? Hello? I didn't hear you. Who's that? Mahmoud. Yeah, Mahmoud. Yes, Mahmoud. Say, you want to give me the answer? Silver surface is a good reflector and it is a poor absorber as well as poor emitter. Okay. Yeah. And Oops. and something more has to be there. You want, okay, could you repeat the answer one more time? Mahmuda, I want to hear. Because silver surface is a good reflector and it is a poor absorber as well as poor emitter. Mm -hmm. uh, but you mentioned poor emitter of thermal energy. You mentioned that. Okay. Uh, okay. Because it can be, uh, okay, fine. It just add that to of thermal energy. That will be a good answer. Okay, they say that uh, then you can conclude the answer like this. So heat loss by radiation is reduced. Okay, the rest of the girls, did you understand what Mamuna said? Hello, girls. Could you follow her? Mamuna said the answer. So is it clear? Yes, what you have to write down there? Yeah. Yes. Because silver surface is a good reflector and it is a poor absorber as well as poor emitter of thermal radiation. Uh, Mahmuda, in that case, not radiation, thermal energy. Thermal energy. Yes, yes. Because silver surfaces. Silver surfaces is a good reflector, comma, poor absorber and poor emitter of thermal energy. So heat loss by radiation is reduced. You can just conclude the answer like that. So heat loss by radiation is reduced. Miss, can you repeat it one more time? Okay. Silver surfaces are good reflectors or is a good reflector, comma, poor absorber and poor emitter of thermal energy. So heat loss by radiation is reduced. Then there's, now come to part B of the question. Suggest with reasons what must be added to the flask shown on the figure in Mr. order... Could you repeat the answer? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Let's do it. Silver surfaces is a good reflector, comma, poor absorber and poor emitter of thermal energy. You have to mention all the three. Good reflector, poor absorber, poor emitter, of thermal energy, comma. So heat loss by radiation is reduced. Heat loss by radiation is reduced. Okay, I think now it's clear for you, right, girls? Let's yes, proceed to part B. Uh, they say if you just look at the diagram, something might be missing. Uh, if you uh, do something or if you add something on this particular diagram, that will keep your uh, liquid hot for a long time. So what could be your suggestion, girls? It's a stopper. A we could add a stopper. Yes. Yeah, that's a good answer. 
but you have to explain because two marks, right, Maha? So, uh, okay, it's I'm going to yeah, I'm going to read out all of you check and then quickly write down. A plastic stopper can be added at the top to reduce heat loss by convection, evaporation, and radiation. Now, this evaporation you learn in my next lesson, but you have to mention the word. Because through evaporation also, some of the energy will get lost. If you use the stopper, you're going to prevent that. Okay, and then you have to say, and why we are using plastic, we have to make, explain that as well. As plastic is an insulating material, it will prevent heat from leaving the liquid. So what do you think, girls? Isn't it uh, enough for three marks? Yeah. Okay, fine. So I want you to quickly write on this one. Your idea was absolutely correct because we'll be using a plastic, but why are we using that? And what, uh, in which way is this going to help us? We have to explain that one. So all of you quickly do it. A plastic stopper can be added at the top. A plastic stopper can be added at the top to reduce heat loss to reduce heat loss by convection, comma, evaporation. Miss, could you repeat from the first? A plastic stopper can be added at the top. Okay. A plastic stopper can be added at the top to reduce heat loss by conduction evaporation and radiation full stop and guys do remember if you don't mention this process you will not score mark it's very important for us miss is it conduction or convection convection because it will no. be in the air from the liquid it will go to the air convection evaporation and radiation full stop miss could you repeat a plastic stopper can be added at the top to reduce heat loss by convection, evaporation, and radiation. Full stop. Okay. Now the next sentence. Shall I proceed, girls? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. As plastic is an insulating material, as plastic is an insulating material, it will prevent heat from leaving the liquid. It will prevent heat from leaving the liquid. It will prevent yes, as plastic is as plastic is an insulating material is an insulating material, it will prevent heat from leaving the liquid. Done, girls? Yes. Oh, now I have to go. Do you remember? Miss, what, what is after? I couldn't hear you here. You want me to read the answer one more time? Yes, miss. Okay, then hold on. Let me do it. Hmm. I said a plastic stopper can be added at the top to reduce heat loss by convection, evaporation, and radiation. As plastic is an insulating material, it will prevent heat from leaving the liquid. Okay, guys? Thank you, miss. You're welcome. Let's go for the next question. Okay, now, Reel, I hope you could write the answer by this time. Reel. Okay, fine. Let's go to the next question I gave you. That was 31 October, November 13. And I gave you question number 5 and 6. So, all of you go to 
31 October November 13 question number 5 Miss is the copper sheet question right uh, let me see yes 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 it is a copper sheet question so I want to do this first all of you go to that page read the question and you'll be suggesting me the answer Okay, I want you to try and get the answer yourself. Miss, question number? Question number four and, sorry, five and six both we'll be doing at this moment. So go to number five first. One side of a copper sheet is highly polished and the other side is painted matte black. Okay, girls, when you read this sentence, what comes in your mind that what the question will be about? Say what, what the question is about. When it's a polished and a, a matte black, what comes in your mind, girls? Absorbers and reflectors. It is actually nothing but thermal radiation, isn't it? Okay, now check. The copper sheet is very hot and placed in a vertical position as shown in the figure. Okay, if you just look at the figure, you can understand clearly. A student places his hands at equal distances from the sheet as shown in the paper. Explain, number one, why her hands are not treated by convection. Okay, girls, could you tell because me? Because the heat cannot pass through it? Mm, not really, not really. Yeah. Because warm air is less dense and always rises upwards. I think that's the correct answer. Yeah, that is correct, but you have to understand one thing here. First of all, when they mention convection, okay, but before that, first tell me one thing. What is there in between the hand and the uh, and the copper sheet? What do we have in between these two? Air molecules. Yeah, we have air here. And we know that convection is possible in air. But even though yes. it is mentioned that our hands are not getting heated by convection. So remember that day we discussed this point that whenever air or any gas molecule gets warm, actually it goes upwards due to its less density. Isn't it, girls? We discussed about it, right, that day? Yes, miss. Warm yes. air is less dense, it goes upwards. So as the air is going upward, definitely the hand is not receiving the heat anymore. So the hand is not getting warm. Okay. So, I want uh, Sadia to repeat the first answer one more time so that the others can also write. Uh, <coughs> um, because warm air is less dense and always rises upwards. Warm air is less dense and it always arises upwards. That's the answer of this question. Then girls, shall I proceed? Okay. Now, look at the next part of the question. They say, why her hands are not heated by conduction? Because the air molecule is a poor conductor. The hand and the not conduct heat. Yes. 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 yes I've got an answer. Yeah, same. I already wrote it down and I wrote down air is poor, is a poor conductor. Mm -hmm. So air between the hand and the plate does not conduct heat. Yes, that is the correct answer. Yeah, that's, uh, well, that's what's happening. What's happening there? Okay, all of you, complete answer. Air is a poor conductor. Mm. Air is a poor conductor for the air in between. The plate and the hand do not conduct heat. When yes, matters, one more time. Yes. There is a poor conductor. So, the air... Hello? Hello? Welcome back, girls. Thank you, Miss. Yeah. Okay. I was in that question you were doing. Uh, that was um, 
Okay, I think we have done with A2, right girls? Air is a poor conductor, so the air in between the plate and the hand do not conduct it. Done, right girls? Miss, uh, Miss, can you repeat? Okay, air is a poor conductor. Okay. Air is a poor conductor. Uh, so the air in between the plate and the hand do not conduct it. Got it now? Yes. Is it clear? Yes, Miss. Okay, fine. Now I think I should go to part B of the question. State and explain which hand gets hotter. This way, my answer is closed. Miss, I think it's the left hand. Miss, can you answer? Okay. Miss, I think it's the left hand. Yes. Can I please answer? Yes, who's that? Yes, you can. But the rest of you, switch off your, uh, mute your microphone. Otherwise, nobody else will be able to hear. Yes, Mahmouda, give me the answer. Miss, it's Ishraq. Okay, fine. Say Ishraq. Give me the answer. Okay. Uh, the hand facing the matte black side gets hotter because the matte black side is a better emitter than the polished side. Yeah, very good answer. But could you mention which hand, right or left hand? Left hand. Okay, fine. So start like this. The left, left hand facing the matte black side gets hotter because matte black is a better emitter than, yeah, than the polished side. side. Correct. All of you quickly complete the answer. Miss, can you repeat it one more time? <coughs> the left hand side <coughs> facing the matte black side gets hotter. The left hand facing the matte black side gets hotter because matte black is a better emitter than the polished side. Got it now, girls? Can I proceed? Yes, yes. Okay. Let's go. Can you repeat one more time? Okay. The left hand side facing the matte black side. Sorry, the left hand facing the matte black side gets hotter because matte black is a better emitter. Matte black is a better emitter. Okay, yes, uh, I wrote down good emitter. Should I no change problem. it to better emitter? Yeah, if we, it's better if you write better because you know good and then better is the yes. yes. Why? Okay. Now let's go to the next part of the question, part C. Yes. In words, they say it is suggested that one side of the copper sheet cools to a lower temperature than the other side. Explain why this does not happen. This is copper, and the way it is shown, it should be getting a cool in one side and the other side. But it is not happening like that. What? Uh, copper is a good conductor. Definitely, um, it's the best conductor. And then conduction takes place. Conduction is rapid. Mm -hmm. Correct answer. Continue. Yes, the conduction is rapid. Yes, but we have to explain. So, it. Equalize the temperature. Conducts heat yeah. rapidly yeah. to the other side to equalize the, the temperature. temperature. Okay. Temperature. Yes, I think that is the correct answer. You have to mention about the temperature as well. So let us write it like this. First, we'll say copper is a good conductor. So it conducts to equalize the temperature. Yes, yes, that one has to be added. That's what I'm saying. Copper is a good conductor, so it conducts heat rapid to the other side to equalize the temperature. Just to mention it. To equalize the temperature. Okay? Now, done. Let's go to... Conduct it to the... Miss, can you repeat it? Copper yes, is a good conductor. So, it conducts heat rapid to the other side. To equalize the temperature. Okay? Fine. 
Now, all of you go to the next page. We have question number six. It is a mixed question, but I want to do this. No, in fact, it is a thermal physics question. A bit of mixture is there about the atmospheric pressure, but I think we can do this one at this moment. All of you read question 6a, and I want you to give me the answer of this one, 6a. Complete the following statements by writing appropriate words in the spaces. Okay. Now, all of you check what is written here. Uh, I want someone to participate in this question. Who want to do that? Yes. Is it air molecules? Okay. Particles. Particles. Only the first one is molecules, right? I think it is better we use the word molecule, not particles. Okay. So the pressure of a gas is sealed in a sealed container is caused by the addition of molecules with the container wall. An increase in the temperature of the gas increases the pressure because the what should we write there? Electricity of the molecules. Kinetic energy of the, the speed part. of the molecules. The velocity. Okay, one minute. We have to say there because it's all about the kinetic energy. And if you remember, kinetic energy depends on velocity. Okay, girls, all of you switch off your microphone, please. Let me repeat. An increase in the temperature of the gas increases the pressure because the velocity of the molecules increases. Okay. The force on the wall due to the gas is the pressure multiplied by the Surface area. Okay. Is the container. Yes. Correct answer. Surface area of the wall. Because F equals to PA. We learned the equation P equals to F by A. In general. Mm -hmm. Could you read the before one as an increase in the temperature of the gas increases the pressure because the velocity, velocity of the molecule. Yes. Velocity of the molecules. Okay. Panzilla, concentrate on your studies right now. I don't want to hear anything else from you. And it is strictly a class, <coughs> an academic class going on. You shouldn't discuss anything else over here. And Zara Mobin also. Concentrate in your studies. Don't give answer to anything which is not related to your studies at this moment. Okay. Now, let's come back to the question part B, 6B. All of you read the first part of the question. What is actually happening here? And I want to hear your idea about it. Yes. Hmm? I'm sorry, but can you repeat the last tensor of 6A? That was surface area. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, all of you go to part B of the question. Yes, yes. Miss, mm -hmm. uh, what's the answer of uh, 6A first one? 6A, that yeah. was molecules, nothing else. Molecules, then velocity, molecules again, and the last one, surface area. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Question number B. The yes, Mahase. The, the, air the air pressure outside the bottle is higher than the air, than the pressure inside the bottle. Mm -hmm. Did that answer this? Uh, but it is too much, we need to explain a little bit more. But where is this happening here? Is it at the top or at the because base station? Miss, when, yeah, when, at the when, uh, at the no, at the top, at the top. top. It Bottom is at the top. top. It is at the top that is happening. At the top of the mountain, the pressure of air inside the bottle was equal to the pressure outside because the person took the water at the top. And then when he came down, what happened over there? When he came down, the pressure outside got increased. That is why the bottle got crushed down, isn't it? That's the mechanism happening. Because when he took the water at the top, the bottle got empty and the air got inside. So that time the air inside the bottle and the outside air is equal. And we learned that atmospheric pressure gets decreased when you go above a hill or a mountain, isn't it? So this, this uh, same thing is happening over here. 
So all of you, Mahmuda, would you like to give me the answer? The way you wrote, did you write it? No, miss. Okay, fine. So let's do this now. At the top, let us follow the question the way it is written there. At the top, Miss, um, I wrote it in a different way, I guess. Okay, could you read out? I want to hear that. When a mountaineer goes to the top of the mountain, the air pressure, which is less than the base pressure of the mm -hmm. bottle, is equal to the air uh, pressure outside. And when he comes down, the bottle collapses because the pressure inside the bottle is less than the pressure outside. Yeah, it's very all the same. You just rearrange it in your own way, but the meaning stays the yes. same. You can continue with that. Now you listen to our one, the way we want to write it, almost the same. At the top of the mountain, the pressure of air inside the bottle was equal to the pressure outside, comma, which is lower than the air pressure at the base of the mountain. Miss, could you slow down? Okay, okay, fine. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'll be reading it. Just write down all of you. At the top of the mountain, the pressure of air inside the bottle, at the top of the mountain, the pressure of air inside the bottle was equal to the pressure outside, to the air pressure outside, which is lower than the air pressure a softer bottle. Bottle was equal was equal to the air pressure outside, which is lower than the air pressure at the base of the mountain. Full stop. Which is lower than the air pressure outside, which is lower than the air pressure at the base of the mountain or at the base you can write, which is lower than the air pressure at the base. Miss outside. Outside, which is lower than the air pressure at the base. Which is lower than the air pressure at the base. Full stop. Okay. Then continue with the last sentence. The bottle collapses because the bottle collapses because the pressure inside the bottle is the pressure inside the bottle is now less than the pressure outside outside inside the bottle is now less than the pressure is now less than the pressure outside then the Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Now come to the part of question number B2. At the top of the mountain, the atmospheric pressure is 4.8 into 10 to the power 4 Pascal. And the volume is 250 centimeter cube. So we are going to consider it as a P1 and V1. Okay. And calculate the volume of the bottle at the base of the mountain when the pressure of, of the air inside the body is 9.2 centimeter cube. Uh, assume no change of atmosphere. So they are asking us to find out. Uh, okay, one minute. Uh, v1. Mm, okay, fine. Volume of the bottle is this. Okay. We have to go for uh, V2, you can say. Okay, so P1, V1 is given to you. P2 is given. You are going to calculate V2. So all of you write down the equation Ball's law. P1, V1 equals P2, V2. Miss, okay. Miss, can you repeat? One. <laughs> Which one, dear? B2. The calculation that I'm doing is for now. I told you, this is the equation of Boyle's law. P1, V1 equals P2, V2. So, uh, we are finding out V2. So, calculate V2 equals P1, V1 by P, uh, P2. The equation is equal Yes, if you rearrange the equation, you'll get for V2 equals to P1 V1 divided by P2. Now, take the 130 centimeter cube. Correct answer. Yes, that's good. So that's the correct answer. So, you got V2. Okay. 
okay because P1 and V1 was given and they gave you P2, we are supposed to get V2. Then there's okay, fine. Now, Miss, so we are supposed to find V2. Yes, yeah, V2 equals it will become P1, V1 divided by P2. So your P1 is 4.8 into 10 to the power 4 into V1 was 250. Divided by this, I did not understand. Which one, dear? This calculation? The, yeah, miss. Okay. First, you have to understand the equation that we had. That was the Boyle's law. It is actually from the uh, assistant portion that we finished. In the Boyle's law, we write P1, V1 equals P2, V2. P1 and V1 will be the pressure and the volume at a certain time. So we consider that one at the top of the mountain. And when it came so down... Hold on. Yes? P1, V1, oh, oh, okay. P1 and V1, because it was done before, so I thought you were already got it. Okay, fine, let me explain. P1, V1 was at the top of the mountain, where the pressure is given 4.8 into 10 to the power 4 pascal, and the volume was given 250 centimeters. But when they came down, they gave us the pressure only, and asking us to find the volume. So we wrote the pressure 9.2 into 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 4, that is the, that is the pressure at the bottom. And then we are going to allow, we are going to calculate V2. So if you rearrange the equation, you are getting V2 equals P1 V1 divided by V2. And if you calculate, already somebody told me that they got the answer 130 centimeters too. Isn't it matching with our uh, conception? Because at the top, the bottle was uh, big. When it came down, it got crushed down. So definitely the volume got decreased. Am I right, girls? Yes, yes, miss. Okay, fine. So I think we are done with this particular question. Okay, let me see what is the next question we were supposed to do. Miss the time's up. Uh, almost. Okay, fine. Let's do one thing. I have one, two, three, four, five questions left. So tomorrow I want to continue the same thing. But by the time, as you have learned the notes and you have gone through the this past paper questions right now with me, what do you think? Was it difficult for you to understand the answer and the question? What do you say? Was it difficult for you? No. Okay. Means you could uh, uh, get the question, right? And how to match with your notes and pick up the correct line, correct sentence. That one you can do, isn't it? Did you find it difficult? Hmm? I don't think so, right? No, yes. miss. Yeah, that's no, really good. That is why no, I miss. hope all of you have completed your notes, learning the notes. That will help you a lot, dear. So, shall I uh, finish my class now? Yes, miss. Yes, make sure tomorrow you all of you will be present with your past paper in front of you. I, I'm not going to ask for the past paper again. Okay, girls? Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, we are done with Bye. you. Bye. Stay safe and please do study and take care of your side. Yes, this same to you. Thank you. Bye, girls. Bye, Bye miss. Bye, Bye miss. Bye.